we have exchanged co um, conversations, correspondence on the issue of training manuals, and I'd like to make the record clear today about the current situation. Um, I'm asking to enter into the record letters which you and I exchanged in March and April of this year when it was disclosed in, uh, when some parts of the training manuals became public that some things had been stated in the training of FBI agents which uh, had been, uh, I would just say, characterized as inappropriate and unfair to Arabs and Muslims. And um, we have spoken about this personally. I have spoken to Attorney General Holder could you tell me at this moment in time what is the current status of training manuals as it, in the FBI as it relates to these two groups and what you have done to make certain we don't have the kinds of things that have troubled us in the past? Yes, Senator, as I've indicated in the letter, uh, when this came to our attention last summer, uh, we took it exceptionally seriously. Uh, and uh, we convened a, a group of five individuals, uh, we believe, uh, all of whom have uh, advanced degrees, two of whom were in the Bureau, three were outside the Bureau, uh, to make a preliminary review of the materials and determine uh, what then should be done to make certain that the training we give our uh, agents is, is appropriate. Uh, and with a touchstone document, and I have to apologize because I bl believe in a, a, a conversation with you, I indicated that it was a curriculum, it was not, it was a touchstone document that these uh, persons put together as a guidance as to how to go through and treat uh, the records we were going through. We then had uh, up to 30 uh, individuals, agents, uh, uh, analysts, and others uh, go through over 160,000 uh, documents, training documents. They're training documents, not necessarily a manual, but training documents that have been used over uh, the preceding 10 years since September 11th, along with more than 1,000 uh, uh, slides and the like. We had them go through and pull out uh, those particular documents uh, that were inappropriate for whatever reason. They could have been wrong, they could have been uh, raised the specter of, of, uh, uh, of a, an individual being pointed out that should be pointed out. Uh, uh, they, uh, uh, for whatever reason, uh, those particular documents needed to come out of our training. Uh, we identify, identified 176 of those documents that um, needed to be pulled out. We found the other 160 approximately documents, 160,000 documents appropriate. Uh, we then, uh, with those, uh, uh, those documents, we went out to the field and explained why these particular documents with examples were inappropriate. Uh, we uh, interviewed the individuals who were responsible for those documents. Uh, we uh, did more than 100 uh, interviews uh, of uh, such individuals. And we also are in the process now of going out and uh, making certain that the materials that we are using are in accordance with our uh, uh, appropriate. The, uh, one of the things that did teach us, and one of the things that comes out is that we did not have a, a mandatory review for, uh, uh, for training documents such as this. And so we have put into place, apart from this, a review of, of training so that anybody who is giving a training can't just go up and put together their training materials, it has to go through a screening process. Uh, we've taken it exceptionally seriously, as I think uh, perhaps uh, you can understand given the personnel we put on it, but I think we have uh, gone a long ways to resolving the issue. Critics have said this is all about uh, congressional meddling and political correctness, and I would like to have your characterization because you stated to us earlier that one of the key elements in fighting terrorism is connections, cooperation, and you have said, and Attorney General Holder has said, that Muslim Americans and Arab Americans have been a vital part of our effort to keep our nation safe. I'd like to have your characterization as to whether this is just an exercise in well, political correctness. Well, for, for us and for me personally, it's not an exercise of political correctness, it's an exercise of doing what is right, given uh, what we had seen. Uh, I believe that the five individuals that we selected to have the professional capabilities uh, to uh, guide us in this way, and it's absolutely essential that our agents are instructed giving the, the best possible materials and those materials that are in accordance with our core values. So I, I reject any assertion that it was, this is as a result of 
uh, political correctness or any uh, such other characterization that's uh, what needed to be done. And I will follow up as I have before and said that many of the cases that we have done uh, are a result of the Muslim community bringing to our attention individuals uh, whom needed further investigation. And we would not have, be as safe, as safe as we are today without the, uh, the support of the Muslim American, uh, Arab American, Sikh American uh, communities in the United States. Thank you.